This is Elon Musk's boring company. The company's founding aim? To rid the world of congestion by building tunnels that could autonomously, rapidly shuttle cars from A to B. I think that finally, 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 there's something that I think could solve the goddamn traffic problem. Or at least that was the original idea. But fast forward to today and congestion is still very much a thing. And the company's idea of traffic busting tunnels is not quite there yet. So as always, we're going to look at where the boring company is now, where it wants to be, and then examine what it needs to do to get there. But let's start with where it wants to be. The idea for the boring company seemed to start when Musk tweeted, traffic is driving me nuts, I'm going to build a tunnel boring machine and just start digging. Fast forward a few months and Musk launched the company, along with a vision for how these tunnels would hypothetically eliminate traffic. You drive your vehicle onto a platform at street level and then are lowered into a network of tunnels, where the platform and your vehicle are whisked along at speeds of between 120 and 150 miles an hour. At the end of the journey, you pop back out at street level and drive off. There's no real limit to how many levels of, of tunnel you can have. So you can go much further deep than you can go up. The company soon followed up with some ideas for where this tech could be deployed like a 35 mile tunnel from downtown DC to downtown Baltimore, which would carry passengers at least 30 feet underground and take approximately 15 minutes. There were also sketches for routes across LA and connecting locations like downtown Chicago with Chicago O'Hare Airport. Part of the attraction of the company was that the quotes to deploy its technology were often magnitudes of millions cheaper than other transportation options like light rail. So what has the boring company achieved so far? Well, in early 2022, the company was valued at some $5.7 billion. But when it comes to physical infrastructure, the company has little to show for it outside of a handful of short tunnels. Thanks for coming to uh, this hole in the ground. Boring completed a few short tunnels on its properties in Hawthorne, California and near Austin, Texas for R&D purposes. And then there's the 1.7 mile Las Vegas Convention Center loop, which connects different halls of the convention center. The Boring Company says that the loop at one point transported around 26,000 passengers per day and has an average ride time of less than two minutes. But most of those initially proposed projects, like that Baltimore DC loop, have been removed from the Boring Company's website. When my colleagues Ted Mann and Julie Bikowitz reported on this, they found the company often pulled out when confronted with the realities of building public infrastructure. And what they do have is quite a long way off from that original concept. Instead of allowing any vehicle to drive up and then autonomously be carried along on a platform, you have to instead get in the back of a chauffeured Tesla. And they're not autonomous Teslas either. Initially, the ride was guided along by guide wheels, but that led to issues with ride comfort. I do warn you, it's going to be a slightly bumpy ride. It's a little rough around the edges. So now the guide wheels have gone too. Then there's speed. While Musk has said multiple times that riders will be rocketed along at speeds in excess of 100 miles an hour, for passengers, it's never quite lived up to that. Probably in your trip, you'll maybe, you maybe go 40, 50 miles an hour. The Teslas in the Vegas loop tend to go around 30 miles an hour. That's about the same speed as, well, a car on a normal road, if that road were clear. And it's left Musk's tunnels as essentially just that. Another road, only underground and only driven on by chauffeured Teslas. So what would it take for the boring company's tunnels to actually reduce traffic? Up well, for starters, they'd need to start allowing more different types of private vehicles to travel down them, and not just chauffeured Teslas. The company would also be closer to alleviating traffic if the vehicles, or the platforms carrying them, could be autonomous, as it would mean they'd be able to travel faster and closer together. And the boring company would need to deploy its loop in more places and over greater distances. Clark County and Las Vegas City Government Councils recently approved 34 miles of boring company tunnels, which the boring company will finance it's unclear if that project will materialise. But even if all of this happens, there's still a risk of something called induced demand. See, if a freeway gets congested, you can decongest it by adding another lane. But it only works for a short while. As the traffic starts flowing freely again, the road becomes more popular, and before you know it, more congestion. Until the boring company finds a way to take cars off the street and efficiently get them from A to B in their tunnels faster than on roads, all they're doing is just adding another lane to a highway. The company didn't respond to my request for comment. So to kill congestion once and for all, the boring company will need to actually build tunnels and not walk away from proposals, then dramatically expand that network to make it useful, open the tunnels up to a wider range of vehicles, and find a way to autonomously or efficiently move vehicles through its tunnel network. 
If the company does that, then maybe they could finally solve the goddamn traffic problem. But until then, I'd make sure you have some good playlists loaded in your car, as traffic could be around for some years to come.